So this is a case of follicular lymphoma. And this one's interesting because this one's actually happening in the spleen, which is not a common occurrence in follicular lymphoma. Uh, typically, this is seen in the lymph nodes. And at low power, you can see that you have lots of these follicle structures, hence the name follicular lymphoma. Now, typically, these are all squished together and very irregular and back-to-back. -back. But since this is in the spleen, you can see the red pulp kind of moving in between. And these follicles are present in the white pulp areas. Really, you have to go down to higher power to appreciate what's going on in these uh, tumors. And if you look at the little follicles, what you'll notice is that they're composed of a very uniform population of slightly enlarged B cells. Now, these B cells are the neoplastic B cells uh, that you can see in this case. If you were to do flow cytometry, they'd be positive. Uh, for CD10 and CD20, these are B cell markers. You can also do immunostains to figure this out as well. Another stain that we like to use is called BCL2 because, as you guys know, these have a uh, T1418 that leads to uh, BCL2 overexpression because it's put right next to the uh, immunoglobulin heavy chain promoter. And what I'm about to show you is actually the immunohistochemistry for BCL2 and this is nice because what it shows is that the marker is positive in these cells that are in the center. Now these should be mature B lymphocytes that shouldn't have BCL2 expression but here we actually have BCL2 expression in the same population of cells that are the neoplastic ones on the hematoxylin and the eosin slide. So in summary this is an example of a follicular lymphoma in the spleen. Uh, pretty uncommon does occasionally happen and one of the helpful features in this one is that we were able to do a stain for BCL2 which shows that these follicles although not traditionally back-to-back -back like we describe them usually uh, are still mutated 